the jammed whistle problems. <coughs> One day, Edward, Henry, and Apple Jack and Fluttershy were resting outside Wellsworth Station. Henry and Fluttershy were just sitting in the sun while Edward and Applejack were talking about how they were being friends between Toby and Spike. Hey, you know, Edward, do you remember something? Yes. What is it, Henry? Remember our whistles? Oh, yes. They sound great to us. Indeed. It doesn't seem like they could not stop. Yeah, because they always get pulled by levers whenever we are in their cabs. Yeah, sometimes. Then they all, the four of them, heard a whistle. It sounds. Do you hear that? It sounds like Gordon. It was Gordon, but something was wrong with this whistle. It was making a strange sound. And Rainbow Dash was so sore that she had to cover her ears with her hooves. Gordon screamed out of past the station, leaving Edward, Henry, and Applejack and Fluttershy confused. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, that's just funny. We just don't do it. Then Gordon told. Then Henry told Edward. An apple jack for Gordon was snowing. Hmm. One hour later, Gordon and Rainbow Dash arrived at Napster Station, but the noise was so awful that everyone had to cover their ears. So Tom had covered his ears as well. Take him away, Rainbow Dash, and make him stop that noise. No! I said to take him away. You want me to make him away? But he's not even in the set. I don't think Pinky will find it advertising. No, just get him out of the station. His whistle is jarring us crazy. Oh, why didn't you say so? Never mind that now. Just get him out of here before I go deaf. Gordon popped Saggy away. Stop whistling until Rainbow Dash clambered up and knocked his loose whistle valve in place. Phew! That's good! I thought that stupid thing will never shut up! Later, Gordon slunk into the sheds. He was glad it was empty. Later, it was Henry and Fluttershy's turn to pull the express, and Henry had no problem with his whistle either. I need to know that's a fine whistle, Henry. Thanks, Fluttershy. It feels great to pull in the express again. But as they stopped at the signal, something happened. Passengers were complaining because some little boys had thrown some st stones out into the to the glass of the coaches. Henry was cross, and so was everyone else. The windows all broke, said one. So is this one, said another. Then Henry and Fluttershy had an idea. They returned back to Napper Station to tell Sir Tom how about what happened, and then Henry and that. Fluttershy I still remembered their plan. Pretend you're stuffed up, Henry! That's a good idea, Fluttershy. I'll do it when we come to the tunnel. <whistles> then Henry saw approach the tunnel where he saw some boys with more stones. Are you ready, Henry? Sneeze hard when I tell you. Now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a black album, man? But what will my mom say when she sees me like this? Well done, Henry!
later, Gordon and Rainbow Dash were sitting in the shed when Henry and Fluttershy arrived. They were happy that they got the boys sorted out. Well, Gordon, seems like yesterday your whistle was sounding funny. <laughs> Henry and Fluttershy laughed, except Gordon and Rainbow Dash. They thought he, Henry and Fluttershy were being very <laughs> silly indeed. <laughs> Mm-hmm.